Hi there. You won't believe the real cost of fueling an electric vehicle compared to a petrol car. And I promise you, you will be amazed. But first, a quick explainer and the reason that I made this video. I keep getting asked by people or in comments below, mate, your electricity bill must be huge. Or I hear from someone, hey, I heard from a mate that you know, they're not as cheap to run as they say they are. Or worse still, you've seen this viral video that made them out to be more expensive than a petrol car being fueled with 98 unleaded. Struth. Well, the actual truth will shock you. So in this video, I'm going to share what the actual cost is, how much it will cost you at home, say, or out in our big, huge country, and contrast that against popular petrol and diesel vehicles and detail how a car expert got it wrong and did a huge omission that deserves a video like this one. My name's Chris and I cover electric vehicles from an Aussie perspective. If you find this video useful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, especially the ones who don't believe you, because the truth, it will absolutely shock them. First up, there is expensive charging stations and inefficient charging habits. Now, answer this honestly. Would you buy your petrol from here, here, or here? They are literally meters from each other. You would go to the cheapest one, right? After all, the cents per liter difference adds up when you put in 50, 60, 70 liters into your tank. So why do car experts select one of, if not the most expensive electric vehicle charging station if the story was about typical cost of fueling an electric vehicle versus petrol. They should have chosen several other cheaper providers, but instead they flew right by them and filled up at the equivalent of this place. Second issue, they wasted a lot of time filling the battery to 100%. Doing this more than doubles your charging time. And on a road trip, when all you wanna do is safely get from Melbourne to Sydney in as short as time possible, you should be running the battery from 10, 20% to about 80%. And doing that will only take you 15 to 20 minutes per charging session. What they did, almost empty to 100%, taking in an hour is ridiculous. You can see the difference, right? So what does a road trip in an electric vehicle look like? You stop every two to three hours for 15 minutes or so, which is a safe way to drive, meaning you can get a bite to eat, a coffee, maybe go to the toilet, and be on your way again. And sure, you're gonna stop maybe three times going Melbourne to Sydney, but you're gonna be doing it way faster and way safer. Next up, what Car Expert did was try to make out that this was representative of electric vehicle ownership and what the electric cost will be for you. But if you could afford a BMW i7, would you really be driving from Melbourne to Sydney? Maybe, but if it was me and I could afford a $300,000 car, I would probably fly at the pointy of a plane and hire an electric car when I was in Sydney. No, what they should have done is given a realistic portrayal of what electric cars you can get right now in Australia. There are plenty out there with 100 kilowatt hour battery packs, but importantly, there are many out there that are way more efficient than the BMW i7. For instance, a Tesla Model 3 or Y, like my one, runs about 25 to 40% more efficient than a BMW i7. The same trip using the same expensive charging stations would have cost $78, not $131 they paid. $50 difference. In fact, if I had charged at cheaper, fast charging sites, the trip would have only cost $45. That's an $86 saving. This is the reality of road trips away from home using paid fast chargers. Oh, and if you have solar and maybe a fixed electricity plan like I'm on, that gives us free electricity from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day, or just eight cents per kilowatt hour overnight. That means I can fill this car from absolute empty to full for just $4.80, or even zero dollars. Depends if I'm home. Can you do that with your petrol or diesel car? <laughs> and in fact, who honestly has got a petrol Bowser at home? Comment below if you do, and I need a pick or it's not a thing. Now, 
before I get to the truth behind car wrecks, it's supposed to cost to go Melbourne to Sydney in BMWs, which is like saying that every Aussie drives Hummers and that's what we're going to compare the cost of driving, you know, Melbourne to Sydney in an electric car as equivalent to a Hummer. Mm, no, I promise that I'll share with you how much it costs to charge an electric car at home or out and about. Here is my Tesla Model Y. It's driven more than 50,000 kilometers in 18 months, and we can see how much energy it's taken to do just that, and more importantly, how efficient it is. That means we can actually work out how much it costs to fill at home or at expensive rapid chargers. And to do this, I'm gonna like compare a 2024 uh, Toyota RAV4, yeah, let's do that, uh, against a Toyota Camry, yeah. And we'll use different fuel price points, shall we? So. Think of these either as the cost of petrol today or tomorrow or in the future, or perhaps filling up with 91 unleaded, 95 or heaven forbid, 98. Ouch. Tesla Model Y against the RAV4. It would cost to fill the Tesla for 50,000 kilometers between two and $2,700 using these various electricity prices. Pretty impressive, right? That's almost $5,000 difference, five grand. And remember, I actually haven't spent this much because as I mentioned earlier, we either get free electricity during the day or we pay just eight cents per kilowatt hour overnight. So that would mean a total fuel bill of, wait for it, $619 for 50,000 kilometers. How much was your last tank of fuel? Comment below, I'd like to know, because I'm gonna guess that it's probably about $100, yeah? And you do that every, what, week or two? So next time you're filling up, you're like, gee, that video I saw that Chris made, after about half a dozen tanks, I would have actually been able to drive three years, yeah, 15,000 kilometers, 45,000, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's substantial, right? Okay, have I convinced you yet? No? Okay then, let's go for a Camry against a Tesla Model 3. Oh well, my gosh, crikey, five to almost $6,000 difference. But wait, I can imagine the comments below. Yeah, but Chris, I can't charge at home. What would it cost me? Sure, here you go. Tesla Model Y, $4,646.40. A Model 3, $4,300 and some change. And that is using Charge Fox chargers, which are double of what you pay at home typically. And honestly, the chargers that Car Expert should have been using, or Tesla, or name any other EV charging brand out there basically. Still, a good saving of a few thousand dollars, right? And this, again, is from Rapid Charging Sites. Now, before I get to the big bombshell, have you considered subscribing? It absolutely helps out the channel and Things like commenting, sharing this video, liking it, they all help as well, so thanks in advance. Okay, so, are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? Car Experts trip actually costs them zero dollars. Zip, nada, nothing. That's right, because the BMW i7 comes with free, unlimited charging from Charge Fox. Okay, so that Melbourne to Sydney trip, no dollars. Melbourne around, well, all around Australia infinitum for five whole years, no cost. But when you've got a clickbait title like same cars, electric versus petrol challenge, people will click on it and reinforce misinformation already fed to them by news agencies who want to kill the electric car because they want, that they have way, you know, like electric cars, this one here, they have way cheaper fueling costs almost no maintenance. And fossil fuel companies like these guys and these guys, they'll be put out of business. So I hope you can now see that their story wasn't entirely truthful, nor did they do a good job of actually sharing the realities of electric vehicle ownership. EVs are more efficient than similarly sized petrol or diesel vehicles. Most Aussies can charge at home for free or at one tenth the cost. Now, do you want this sort of fuel bill or do you want this sort of fuel bill? That's the sort of difference I'm talking about. And if you do lots of driving, you, going electric is absolute, absolute no-brainer. So 
if you are out and about on the road and you can only charge at these sort of places, and if you're going from Melbourne to Sydney or interstate anywhere, taking that break every three to four hours, I think is a totally a great idea. It's safe for everybody. And in that 15 to 20 minutes, you're gonna get a coffee, maybe have a little nature call, and uh, you know, everyone could be better off for it. So look, have I changed your mind? Comment below, really appreciate it. Think about subscribing, super thanks is appreciated. Kofi for my Kofi addiction, otherwise, You'd be good and you'd be great.